it's me Sahar and today I'm going to be filming a pretty exciting video. I'm going to be giving you all of my favorite fantasy recommendations. Fantasy is my all-time favorite genre. I love learning about magical worlds and creatures and dragons and witches and all of that fun stuff and I thought it'd be really cool to share some of my favorites and recommend some books to you guys if you're looking to pick up a new fantasy series. So I have four actual favorites and then two honorable mentions in this video. All of these are a part of a series so if you like one of them then you can continue on and you have a ton of books ahead of you except for one that's a duology so that might be a little sad but yeah, I'm very, very excited to do this video, actually. I've been thinking about making a fantasy recommendations video for a very, very long time. But I'm excited to finally be here sharing my recommendations. Let me know down below if you want me to do one of these for a different genre. I think that would be really fun to make this kind of a series where we talk about different genres and recommendations of that sort and also leave your recommendations for fantasy books down below because I'm always looking to spend my money on fantasy books so it'd be kind of cool to see what your guys' favorites are and I can add them to my TBR but with that being said let's just get right into the video. So the first book that I'm going to be talking about is actually Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I decided to talk about this first because if you can tell by the giant hole in my bookshelf, this book just sits right there and it's really pretty but I have to talk about it so I had to take it off and now it looks ugly. So we're going to talk about this one first. Strange the Dreamer is such an amazing, beautiful story. This follows our main character, Laszlo Strange. Laszlo is a librarian and ever since he was young, he was obsessed with this myth of this lost city of Weep. And he has done so much research on it. He knows so much about this story of Weep. And one day the people in his city decide that they want to take a journey to the lost city of Weep. Laszlo knows he can't really do it on his own. And he decides that he's going to go along with this person and take a journey to weep. And yeah, it doesn't sound like it would be fantastic, but this story had so many beautiful elements that I love to see in fantasy. Lainey Taylor has a way with words. Her writing is so, so lyrical and beautiful. And I just love the story so much. I have not picked up Muse of Nightmares yet, which is very surprising considering how much I loved Strange the Dreamer, but also this cover is gorgeous, so that always helps. Um, it just had so many elements that I didn't expect. There were so many plot points that I had no idea were going to happen, and I highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a new fantasy series to start. It was, it was so good. I love, love Strange the Dreamer. And now we can put this back. <sighs> okay, so the next book I have is a middle grade series and it's Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. This is part of an incredibly long series and I'm so happy that I enjoyed this first book because now I have so many books to read. I have read the first and the second book in the series and I'm excited to move on to the third this year. But this book is about this girl named Sophie and she one day finds out that she's an elf and no, not those typical Santa's workshop elves, but these mythical magical creatures um, that live in this separate world and her life just turns completely upside down when she finds out about it and she also realizes that with this new information she's putting her family in danger and so she literally has to leave her family. The people of the elf world have to erase her parents' memories so that they don't notice she's missing and now she has to go to the school for elves and learn what her role is in this whole world of elves and yeah it was it's so fun to read these stories because they are middle grade so they're pretty quick to read but they're just so fascinating i've never read a book that 
takes elves to this sort of element and Shannon Messenger just does a really really great job of helping you connect with our characters. I really really enjoyed the story and I highly highly recommend it. So the next book I have was actually one of my favorite reads of 2018 and that is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is the first book in a duology and it takes place in this world that's divided into two. And in this world there are monsters and basically the way monsters are created is every bad act, so any crime, turns into a monster and depending on the severity of that crime is how terrible and cruel and evil this monster that comes from it becomes which already is just so interesting and such a unique concept but this city is divided into two and on one side we have the people who want to fight these monsters and then there's another that offers protection from them and this follows two perspectives so we have Kate who is the daughter of the leader of one side and then we have August who is the son of the leader of the other side and it just talks about their journey and how they meet and just how they conquer this city and August is actually a monster himself so he's pretending to be human among monsters and Victoria Schwab just does such a fantastic job at describing the world and she has such a unique grasp on the magic system of the story and it was just it was really really incredible i highly recommend this duology i love victoria schwab's writing style so i highly highly recommend this so the next book is the crowns game by evelyn sky this follows the ottoman empire in russia and essentially our two main characters Vika and Nikolai are the last two enchanters in this empire and they both think that they're the only ones left but there's actually two of them and the emperor decides to host this competition that's super gruesome and violent and just intense between our two main characters and they have to fight to the death to become the emperor's personal enchanter and I really, really enjoyed Evelyn Skye's writing style in this one. I just love the concept of, it kind of reminded me honestly of Throne of Glass and Game of Thrones in a way because there were characters that were fighting for not necessarily the throne, but for this position. And it was just really cool. I loved, loved our main characters. They were just such, just such sweethearts. I just love them so much and I really really like stories that take place in Russia with like the Ottoman Empire and just different empires and I just think that it was really really fascinating the way that um, Evelyn Skye incorporated elements of history into the series. Um, I haven't read Crown's Fate yet which is the second book but I do own it so I'm definitely going to be picking it up very very soon but I highly recommend the Crown's Game. So I actually have five full recommendations and then one honorable mention. So the last actual recommendation is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer. This is a loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which I love Beauty and the Beast. Belle is my absolute favorite Disney princess. I, I just love the story and that's initially what drew me to pick up this book. Um, I had also heard a lot of good things about it and so I was very, very intrigued to see how Bridget Kimmerer kind of retells the Beauty and the Beast story but with a different twist. So in this story, our beast is Prince Ren and he has been cursed in this magical world that's essentially an alternative universe to our known normal world and his curse is if he doesn't find someone who loves him in time then he will be stuck as a beast forever which is the basic storyline of Beauty and the Beast. Um, there are a few nights where he will turn into a beast and he commits very very violent crimes. He actually unintentionally murdered his entire family and it's it's honestly very very sad. His backstory is just so 
sad and you really really feel bad for Prince Ren but at the same time he's also kind of a jerk and so it kind of balances out. The curse is also that winter never ends in this kingdom and so it's always cold, it's always snowing and sad and depressing and he uses one of his guards and honestly his best friend to essentially kidnap girls and bring them to this kingdom from our normal world. So they take them from the normal world and pluck them into this alternate reality universe where there's magic. And our other main character, Harper, is the lucky princess um, that gets taken. She gets kidnapped and now Prince Ren has to try to get her to fall in love with him, which obviously is very hard if he's her kidnapper but I I think I was a little bit biased because I do love Beauty and the Beast so much but I just thought that Harper was such a fun character to read from. It does follow both perspectives so you really get to see inside both of their heads and see what they're thinking and Harper was just so funny. She has such a good sense of humor and you can really really see their relationship grow throughout this book. It's not just a story of them falling in love. It's really a story of them finding themselves and it's just, I really, really enjoyed this and I highly recommend. Again, like majority of these, I have not read the next book in the series, which is, I think it's A Heart So Fierce and Broken, but I'm very, very excited to pick it up because of where this left off definitely on a cliffhanger so I'm I'm very intrigued and the last book is my honorable mention because I just feel like this may not be everyone's cup of tea but it's The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell this is a very very unique and interesting take on time traveling it follows our main character who can time travel and so she has to She's put on a mission by her boss to go back in time and steal this book from this magician. And if she doesn't, then it's going to just, like that magician is going to destroy everything and he needs the book to do it. So she is essentially put on a mission to go back in time to save the world. And it seems like a very basic concept. I was very hesitant to go into it. I do love a good time traveling story, especially when it's done correctly. But I was very, very nervous because I've read a lot of time traveling stories that just don't make sense or weren't executed properly, but I really, really enjoyed The Last Magician. I just really enjoyed Esta as a main character. I thought that she had a lot qualities that were very very unique and it didn't really seem like a typical time traveling to save the world type of story that the premise describes it as and the reason I'm putting this in an honorable mention is because I'm obviously not an expert in time traveling I don't know exactly how accurately this depicts it but I really really had a good time reading it and I know this may not be everyone's cup of tea but I highly recommend it at least give it a shot I'm currently in the middle of reading The Devil's Thief, which is the second book in the series, and I'm not enjoying it as much as, as this first one, which is also why this is an honorable mention, but I'm still intrigued by the concept and plot points of the second book. So I do still recommend this, but maybe pick up one of the other ones before you start this. So those are all of my fantasy recommendations. Um, I try to keep this list short, but also try to make it a lot of different unique topics. So if you're more into the historical aspect, you know, you can pick up Crown's Game. If you're more into like monsters and that type of stuff, Savage, this Savage Song could be your cup of tea. So there's just, I tried to make it so that you can hopefully find something that intrigues you or captures your attention and hopefully pick it up. Definitely let me know down below if you've read any of these and if you have any different opinions, I would love to hear that. Um, and then again, comment down below your favorite fantasy books and I can add them to my TBR. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why?